Joining us now is CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford. Hi, Jack. Hey, Maggie. I, I, it's tough, because as a mother, I can see both sides of this. If I'm the mother of a kid who sent these naked pictures, I don't want him to be put on this list for life. But if I'm the mother of a girl who, who got the naked pictures sent, right. I do want a harsh punishment. Yeah. So what's the fair balance? Well, you know, what you're seeing now is, as we just heard, is, is a lot of states are saying, we've got to put something in play here that really reflects what this is all about, so that a punishment does, in fact, fit the crime. And the problem has been that all the states and the federal government have these statutes on the book that are designed to deal with pornography child pornography, sending pictures of naked children out to try and make money off of them. And this, many of the states are saying, you know what, the punishment that attaches to that just doesn't work for this type of situation. If you have two 16-year-olds doing something incredibly stupid and sending naked pictures back and forth. And, and the difficulty is, if you look at the wording of these statutes, it falls within that. That's why we're seeing some prosecutions here and, and people going to jail, uh, being labeled as sex offenders, and that follows you for the rest of your life and just having that criminal conviction there. So states are saying, let's do something, let, some states are saying, let's do something that better reflects right. what this should so be. So that the law keeps up with the technology. Because right. Right. right now it has Law hasn't. always, you know, it's interesting, law always lags behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's not a bad thing. But right now, they're trying to get caught up with the technology by saying, all right, if, if in fact you're talking about teenagers here, because this is, they, they say, just teenagers, right. and just in these sort of consensual relationships, um, some places are talking about decriminalizing it completely. Hmm. Uh, others are saying, as we just saw here, well, we'll make it sort of a minor type of offense, second offense, maybe a misdemeanor type of thing. But the idea is, let's protect people from doing something stupid We'll say to them, we get the message to them, it is still illegal, but we're not going to saddle you for the rest of your life with the types of penalties that are designed to be focused on people who are truly engaged in child pornography. I, I can't help but think that parents play a big role here. Even though teenagers don't listen, yeah. it's important, isn't it, for parents to teach their kids that there are potentially serious yeah. consequences to doing this. You and I were just saying Jail this. time. My children now are 28 and, and 23, <laughs> and I'm so delighted we're not in the midst Lucky of that. You. You're going to be working your way through all of this. And, it, you know, the problem with kids is they don't see the big picture on right things. Now. And, and we're hearing that something like 20% of kids have admitted to doing this. So if that percentage is admitting it, how many others are out there doing it and not admitting it also? As but a you parent, have to tell them jail yeah. time. Well, that's uh, the thing as a parent. You know, yeah. when you teach consequences, one of the ways you do that is to dangle these, these prospects yeah. in front of your child and say, this is not a game. If this gets out there and somebody's upset, you know what you're talking about? You're talking about something that could affect you for the rest of your life. But it, it's it's always hard. You know, I've, we've been through it. You'll be there. Yeah. It's always hard to impress those things on your children. Wouldn't it just be great if, if kids realized that they should never, ever, ever allow anyone to take uh, a naked picture of them for any well, reason? You would hope that that's what they would think, but it's never that easy, Maggie. All right, Jack. Thank you so All much. Right, good to see you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.